we're just finishing draining coolant on here. And we open this up here because this pipe will hold another gallon and a half or so of coolant that came out. Uh, we're going to see if we can replace this gate valve. Oh, we've got this all apart right here. Uh, but it's broken off. Um, there's not enough room to spin it around in there without taking the inside out. And it's hard fitting, hard fitting, and then hose. So we're going to see if we've got a spare here. So we're draining the coolant still out of the front of this. Um, there's a bleeder valve on the bluebird here under the front end. And it's up in the middle of the hose up there. Um, if you have the bleeder valve out, it's pushing it through. So we've, we drained as much as we could. No more was coming out of these heater cores, but once we've added new, it's still a green coming out. So it's, it's pushing it through. We're adding coolant. I think we're 17 gallons now into it. <laughs> Three gallons. He's pouring 24 gallons in right now. We've been burping and bleeding it. We're gonna stop on this one and bleed it some more. circulating water through the cooling the uh, heating system of the bus and the tanks really dirty went away. Okay. Done? It's in the middle now. Set it up to front. Did we flip that switch back on on the batteries? Okay. Towards the back. Towards the back of the bus is on. It's pointed to the back of the bus, yeah. Pressure good? Oil pressure great, 60 pounds. I don't have any uh, well, the gauge maybe we What's the blinking lights up there for? Because uh, I'm not sure of power. Oh, okay. And I don't have any uh, alternator uh, output. Yeah. Probably because you're on shore power, it's tricking it. Okay, well, the mechanical side, at least of the engine stuff, is all done on this Wander Lodge for now. Um, we're going to go through, um, I'm taking the day off tomorrow. Uh, then I'm going to check the rear end on it. We're going to go through wheel bearings, brakes, can't think what else. So this week we did, you know, we changed every fluid in the engine, uh, coolant, 
engine oil, obviously. We changed the bearings, main bearings, rod bearings. Changed all the filters, transmission filter. I don't remember what else. But <laughs> Oh, those coolant hoses to the air compressor. That's a very big job on a, uh, a Wander Lodge. It's, it's definitely not easy. Um, it took us most of the day to do that. <laughs> Uh, it was a challenge, but it's one of those things when they go bad, you know, it's not a good thing. They not they had not been changed in a long time, so it, they, they needed to be done. Wheel bearings, I don't really think that's going to be too hard. We got a hydraulic jack here. We'll be able to jack up each wheel up. I don't want to use the wheel lifts on that because then I got to remove the wheel. And if it's up on the lift, which I could lift it with the wheel and then put blocks under it and set it back down, but it's just as easy to use a jack under it. So the lifts have their advantages for certain things like checking the rear end and getting that done. That's really going to be convenient to have that there. The engine's running, sounds great, super smooth, real strong engine. The bus overall is in great condition. The generator Gave us a little bit of a fit today. The Raycor filter that goes to it was leaking from the strainer at the bottom. That O-ring for that strainer does not come with the new filter for it. It's a special O-ring. I was afraid to try to even take it off because once we had the, the strainer plug out of it, it was automatically just leaking fuel from the fuel tank. It didn't just drain the filter like I thought it would. It came all the way from the fuel tank. It just kept coming and coming and coming. Uh, more than a gallon of fuel came out of there, and it's only a tiny... The, the Raycor filter that goes on the generator is very small. It's about the size of a... It's maybe just like a, almost like a Coke... Uh, no, maybe it, it's half the size of a two-liter bottle, maybe. A little smaller than that. So it's it's a, like a third of the size of the regular Raycor that's in the back. So it's, it's a special little one. So we're going to have to order that O-ring that goes on the the strainer valve or whatever it's called. It's a little thumb screw on the bottom that how you drain the water out of there. But for now, I took it off and stuck an O-ring between it and it sandwiches an O-ring and it's not leaking, but we don't want to drive it like that because it could have a fuel leak in it and drain out his fuel. This bus has been a real fun project. Had a great time here. So his son was here helping me all week long. Uh, his name is Kelsey. Great, great helper. Uh, it was fun working with him. And then uh, I got him this week to help me. And with all his tools and how great his shop is, indoors, hard floor, uh, it's, it's been real a real pleasure being here. Uh, and fun seeing all of his other toys and stuff, too. Uh, t tomorrow, like I said, we're taking the day off. I got some things to work on on my bus, so I'm going to try to do that. Maybe I'll shoot some video stuff of that. My propane furnace is not working since... I had the batteries out, so I think I did something with the electrical to that. And then also I have a booster fan on the heating ducts, and that is not working. I'm thinking that it has something to do when I pull all the batteries out. So I'm going to get in there and check that. I was thinking about trying to fabricate a new piece of metal to go finish that radiator shroud where the shroud got damaged on the way here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. <laughs> I may. May or may not. So uh, I'm going to try to do a YouTube uh, live tonight which if you're watching this already, then it'll be tonight, um, probably about an hour after I get this posted. And then uh, tomorrow, I'll try, like I said, I'll try to shoot video of that. So it's been, it's been a fun project. I got another few days here, probably Tuesday, Wednesday, I expect, unless we come up with like a major problem in the wheel bearing side of things, but I don't think we will. It, like I said, it's a really good, strong bus. Uh, we're going to get into the brakes, wheel bearings, all that kind of stuff. So that, that should be kind of fun. So, all right. Thanks.